The first way to increase range on your Tesla is within the infotainment system. So if you're looking right here, uh, chill mode is going to reduce how quickly your car can accelerate. A lot of you may know this. However, chill mode also will reduce the amount of times you have to change tires because how even on what you feel is normal acceleration, you're actually chewing up the rear and front tires depending if your car is all wheel drive, rear wheel drive, or whatever. So chill mode not only can make your car run more efficiently because it balances out the torque curve a little bit, um, it'll also save your tires. The second way you can increase range on your car is by not running your heat or AC. Now this time of year in Arizona, it's in the winter, I a lot of times am just running the heated seats. Now if it's very cold, maybe I'll have to run the heat, but for the most part, I'm trying to think of how to get the car to run most efficiently, how to get the most range and performance out of it, and using no heat or AC helps. Now. I understand it's hot in the summer, it's cold in the winter, you have to use your heat. I'm not telling you not to use it. I'm saying if you're in a situation where you need to get extra range, these are things you can do to improve that. Also, this video is sponsored by Charity Stars and they are giving away a Rivian R1T Adventure. So I'm extremely excited about this and I'm gonna show you how you're gonna have a chance to win it later in the video. Third way you can increase range on your Tesla, or really any car for that matter, and this, probably isn't thought of by most people, and that is by keeping it clean. Uh, the surface area of your car, the paint, the hood, the roof, everywhere, can create drag if there are particles and dirt that are built up on it over time. In episode 127 of Mythbusters, they showed a car that was covered in dirt and mud got two miles per gallon less than a car that was perfectly clean and freshly waxed or whatever. Now you don't have to freshly wax your car every time. I'm just saying generally, if you keep it clean, you will increase the range of your electric vehicle and or get better miles per gallon in your gas car. And all of these things that I'm listing can also be used for your gas car, not totally just for electric vehicles. The fourth thing you can do, and this is more toward electric vehicles, is your tire pressure. Tire pressure on Teslas generally runs a little bit higher. From the factory, they tell you to run it at about 42 PSI. Now on my BMW M2, for example, I run that at like 34, 35. And when I take it to the track, I run it on 28 because you get so much heat in the tires that it gets back up to 34 or 35. The other thing to note is when your car is parked and the tires are cold and there's no energy in them, they are going to measure lower. So you don't necessarily want to pump your tires up to what their operating temperature should be. So for example, I just did a range test with my Tesla Model Y with all of the wheels to see which is the best. And when the car was cold, I had the tires at 38 PSI. Once the tires got energy and heat into them, they got up to the factory recommended 42 PSI. So you don't wanna over inflate your tires if it's cold out and they're reading a little lower you want to measure your tires after you've driven 20 or 30 miles and they have some heat in them so then you can get an accurate depiction of where they're at. Right here where it shows the battery percentage, if you just tap that, you can switch back and forth to miles. On road trips, people have said, oh, you need to use the battery percentage. Oh, you need to use the miles. They go back and forth on that. What you really need to do is use the energy app. So that's right here. Click this, go to 30 miles and do your average range. And it will change this based on how you're currently driving. This number right here are EPA estimates, which uh, Tesla is famous for coming nowhere near in the real world. I think Tesla it has gotten extremely good at the EPA calculation, um, where it is, doesn't in real life, um, they're just, the cars just don't match up to the range that they show online. And I actually tweeted about this the other day and no one had a good answer for me. I said, if, if Tesla has the best batteries, then why does Lucid have a car that goes 520 miles? Now, I understand that Lucid has a larger battery. I totally understand that. And I should have been more clear in saying, why can Tesla not hit anywhere close to their EPA estimates? The Tesla Model S long range is rated at 400 miles and only gets 303 miles of range according to inside EVs. And that is also reflected on Edmunds testing as well, somewhere close to that. So I'm just saying, if they're the best, why does it not reflect that in the real world? With that said, there is no other electric car that I would currently get that's in this price range. So I'll let you debate that in the comments. The fifth way to increase your range is driving style. So this concludes a couple things. Driving at high speeds. If you're driving at 80 miles an hour, this car is going to run significantly more inefficient than if you're driving at 70 miles per hour. 
to get your EPA estimated range out of a Tesla Model Y long range, you have to be driving the car at 279 watt hours per mile. In stop and go traffic, use your regen braking. Try not to use your brake. If you're just taking shorter trips around town, that is going to make your car run more inefficiently because the batteries aren't necessarily warmed up. But I'll show you how we can mitigate this uh, in one of the future steps. The other thing is uphill driving. That's obvious to people. Uh, any car is less efficient uphill and more efficient downhill. Uh, with Teslas, it is nice that you can gain some range and charge when you're going downhill because of the regenerative braking. Finally, within driving style is the weather outside. If it's windy, rainy, snow, whatever, that can affect your range. Um, I've noticed coming back to Arizona through Palm Springs, I had the car running at 168 watt hours per mile just because I was downwind. I wasn't even really downhill, it was just downwind. And when I'm going through that corridor the opposite direction, I'm running at like 370 watt hours per mile. So simply wind can decrease or increase your range a ton. Adding to that, if your car is then dirty and there's increased drag put on your car, you can see how they can compound. So all of these together will significantly increase your range, but doing some of these individually will also increase your range, just not as much. And you don't necessarily need to do all of these at once. I'm just trying to give you as many options as possible. Another thing that people forget about is the cargo in their car. So things like like your golf bag, car your hockey gear, birth. stuff in the in the rear part of the trunk or some random things in the front. The only thing that I would say you should maybe keep with you on all road trips that you're doing are a charging cable. But other than that, you know, outside of your suitcases and things you need, take the extra stuff out. Less wear on the suspension, less weight in the car means the car is going to run more efficiently. I think that's pretty straightforward. But just keep in mind, look around your car, all the extra junk, take it out, clean your car, don't be a pig. As I mentioned earlier, this video is sponsored by Charity Stars. They're giving away a Rivian R1T, and I've seen this car in person. 314 mile range, does it zero to 60 time of up to three seconds, and they're giving away the Adventure Pack version, which has the wood grain on the interior, heated, ventilated seats, and as we talked about, the old Adventure Hole is included, which is, you know. Yeah, Charity Stars, they're a fundraising platform that helps raise money for charitable causes. Donations this time will benefit the Adopt the Arts Foundation, a charity whose mission is to support art and music programs to all students regardless of where they live or go to school. So Charity Spars has sponsored the channel for about a year now. They've been an excellent partner. And not only do they give out great prizes, they donate to great causes. So this is very cool, especially with the EV front coming on, the newest truck coming out. The cyber truck is nowhere in sight. Rivian is producing cars and selling them to people. And I think it's really cool that one of you guys is going to have the chance to win this car. So the link and everything is down in the description below. Use code Jeebs. That'll give you 100 entries. Or the link down in the description should automatically load those 100 entries into your cart along with the donation that you decide to make. It doesn't have to be a crazy donation. A bunch of small donations can help out, that's for sure. Um, but I'm very excited about this. Hopefully one of you actually wins the car so we can do some videos on it because I'm not even able to get my hands on one to have on this video. I was able to see one in California, which is the footage that I was just showing. But it's an amazing car. I'm really excited. Hopefully one of you guys wins it. Again, link is down in the description. 100 free entries using code Jeebs. And that link should automatically load those into your cart. Good luck to all of you. And thank you, Charity Stars, for sponsoring this video. The seventh way to increase your range is by removing roof racks if you have them. If you're not using them, remove them. They increase drag on the car, does not help, and this is also listed on Tesla's site. If you have the aero wheel caps, use them. They work. Keep your Tesla plugged in. Doesn't mean it has to be charging all the time, but keep it plugged in. Don't let those battery levels continue to fall. Uh, it also helps regulate the battery. We retain some heat and the onboard computer will automatically prevent overcharging. And within your Tesla app, you're able to set your charging limit. So for me, I set it to 80%. Sometimes I'll set it for 90% if I know I'm gonna be using the car a lot more. Um, so always keep your plug, your car plugged in as much as possible. Additionally, if you're just inside and you don't wanna have to go, in, go out and plug your car and just do it as soon as you get out, you can change the charging levels that you want it to be at. Just a convenience factor and something you should get used to doing. The 10th way that you can increase range on your car is by using preconditioning. Go into your Tesla app and click schedule and then from there, click departure, and you should be able to, you know, pre click the precondition all week, weekdays, and then you can also click off peak energy costs. So you can reduce the cost of charging your car and also be 
better to the grid around you. I have a fixed rate at my house. Um, but yeah, so you, you're able to change this up. I do wish you could just set it like for one day because your only option right now is all week or weekdays. I wish you could just, just do it just for today was a button. And then able, enable scheduled charging. I have that set for 11.15 p.m. to start charging every single night. So those are some ways that you can also, you know, if you're making that short trip, which is inefficient for the car, if the battery's preconditioned for that short trip, you won't have things like reduced regenerative braking and things like that. So it'll be more ready to take on those shorter trips where the car would run more inefficiently. The final way to increase range on your Tesla, it has to do with wheels. To figure out exactly which wheel configuration is best for you, you can click the card right here. It's a video that I just made going through five different wheel configurations to see which one runs the most efficiently. So you have to click this video to get that step down. I hope you appreciate this content. Please like the video if you're still with me and also check out the link below for Charity Stars to have a chance at winning the Rivian R1T. Thank you again to Charity Stars, link in description. I'll see you guys next time.